it was disrespectful to your boyfriend. I'm sorry. And it, the fact that you don't see that makes you look stupid. <laughs> look, let's just rip this Band-Aid off right now. The entire relationship from beginning to end has made you both look extremely, extremely stupid. <laughs> like you people are runner, both of you are running up for the dumbest people on the planet right now. <laughs> like it is bad. I feel bad for Liz for being treated like this by Ed, but at the same time, like, I don't know how many freaking red flags the dude's gotta throw out yeah. for her to just leave. Yeah, I mean like, I get the show, right? Because you're doing it for the show, but like after that, like what is this? You know, like why? Why is this a thing right now? Like why? Why she, is this happening? Why does she even feel like she needs Big Ed? Like who? Who, is who needs, who Big, needs Ed? Big Ed? Who? I don't understand. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I'm Ken. This is Buff Pro, and Big Ed's phone call with Liz is leaked. And everyone's tagging us in it. And the form that I have for you guys to submit things to react to, like the last 50 of it, is just this phone call. <laughs> so we're going to take a listen to it. Uh, now, I'm not too sure when this phone call was made. Uh, sometime after the tell-all. But it's, uh, it's it's got a lot of harsh language in it. We're not going to go through and edit it because it's pretty much every other word is something. So, you know, just in case, you know, you got your kids around and you don't want to hear it. Uh, huh. But yeah. Yeah, we're just going to... Yeah, we're just... just, just this is, this is, this is, uh, I just want to be so done with dude, it. Big, uh, I'm already like prepared to want to punch Big Ed right now. Like, it's, we, we this is gonna be bad. Like, right? This is. I've, I've seen everybody like uh, asking us to do this, and I was like, I don't even want to. I don't. I want to. I don't want to do anymore. <laughs> I want to be done. But whatever. Let's let's listen to the, the conversation. I'll always love you, but I can't be with you. I've been sitting around the corner from your house from the second I clocked out. I don't give a fuck, Liz. You're fucked up. How am I fucked up? <sighs> All right. But it, I mean, this is we're 19 seconds in. Should I, should I rewind? Hang on. Let me just <laughs> let me just start it over here from the beginning here. I'll always love you. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I believe that. Yeah. This is going. This is this is 100. percent I believe it already. Okay. Uh, all right. So, so she's sitting around the corner from his house, waiting for him to get home. I guess, were they living together? I don't know. I don't know what's going on at this point. I guess not. She's just sitting around yeah. the corner waiting for him to get home so he'll let her in, I guess. For you to even offer to give a co-worker a ride home to El Cajon, what the fuck is wrong with you? Stop you belittling me. I don't deserve to stop. Okay, so the fight is she gave a co-worker a ride home and Big Ed's mad about it. Because if you remember right. back in the, the series, she like went to dinner with a co-worker or something. Oh, they were hanging yeah, out, yeah. And he was like spying from the bushes and he was mad about yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. see that. All right, all right, all right. So he's so, mad about it. And super jealous. And, uh... <laughs> just, I guess he's just ready to fight about it, I guess. Yeah, yeah. El Cajon. Let's see. Where, where is El... El Cajon. Right here. Okay. Right here. And that is... Where does Big Ed live? Let's see. Where does Big Ed live at? San Diego. Uh, yeah, it looks about an 18-minute drive away. Okay. All the way to El Cajon. <laughs> yeah, that's so far out there. She, she took a 20-minute ride to drop somebody off from work. That's like normal where we live. It's like, yo, know, you know, I got to drive Dude, 20 minutes to, to, to where I work. To, to everything. It. 20 minutes. Everything's 20 minutes away from where we live. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, I don't understand. I called you and asked you, and you I said, I give a fuck. Then don't why did you say yes? Why did you say okay? You are fucked up in the head. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you need a ride home? Hey, let me, let me call my, my, my very jealous boyfriend. Yeah. Make sure it's okay. Hello? Yeah, do you care if I take this person home? Uh, it's like a 20 minute thing away. Yeah? It's okay with you? Okay, cool, cool. Yo, what'd you do that for? <laughs> What's wrong with you? What, what do you mean? What are you crazy? Yeah, mommy, you're messed up in the head. <laughs> what the who, head? Who is messed up here? I don't, I don't really understand. Jeez. This is, yeah. I'm also wondering, like, who recorded this? I, I I'll always, I you know, I always right, have right. that like production kind of mind of like how this got recorded. Right. Was did she know that the had they already been texting and that she knew that it was going to be bad because she's recording this in her car. I don't know. Do they like? Can you record your phone calls from your phone? I guess, I guess you can. I've never had to look into it, so I don't know. I have no idea. I have no idea. Can you record an active phone call? Let's see. How do you... Can I... <laughs> okay. All right. If you got an Android, sure, you can do that. Voice app. Uh, under calls, incoming calls. Okay. Yeah. I mean, they got wow. an app. They wow. Got a, they got an app for everything. Yeah, well, they really do. Yeah. I was just, I was just wondering, because 
the, you always want to check the legitimacy of stuff, right? And just kind of like how how was this set up? But anyway, let's continue. I guess because I say that because this conversation is already just so like balls to the wall. Yeah, and just one at one hundred already. All right. What right do you have to ask me? What right do you have to get back together with me and go to clubs in Vegas? I haven't given you any shit, Ed. I called you and you don't let me speak. Golly. So they got back together, and he goes. He goes out to Vegas without her. <laughs> and she does sugar babies. Yeah, she doesn't give him any anything about it. But <sighs> what right does she have to ask him? Because what is he going to say? No, I mean, if, if I say no, you're going to freak out. But still, I'm freaking out. <laughs> it's called respect and have some. <laughs> Liz, run. So, so <laughs> I'm having a hard time to believe, like. A person like this exists, much less a relationship like this, with a phone call coming out of it. Yeah, it's just like it, it boggles the mind. Wow, it, <laughs> this is something that you don't. You have to like think about. Like, do I want to stay in this? I've been sitting around the corner from your house from the second I clocked out because I can't go for a run because you keep blowing up my phone because I can't listen to my music. That was a long rant, and I say a whole lot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so she's parked around the corner watching him. He won't come to the door, maybe? I don't know. Or maybe she wanted to record the conversation because she's done with him. And oh, yeah. it's like, like, look, we're going to expose him. This is how this is how this dude talks to me. You're going to put this man on blast. Hey, I'm just, like I said, I'm still just trying to connect the dots here of like how this is all in real life when they're on the phone with each other. What is happening? Yeah. Apparently she's around the corner watching his house and watching him through the window or something. And he's just been blowing her phone up the whole time. So that's why she's recording the conversation. Okay. Why can't you give me that minute? Or are you just going to call me because I'm stupid? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Stop with the fucking emotions and prove your point. Emo she's, she's, wanting, she's wanting a minute and you had not said anything. So, uh, <laughs> so, yeah, they're upset. Okay, I got it. It was disrespectful to your boyfriend. I'm sorry. And it, the fact that you don't see that makes you look stupid. <laughs> look, let's just rip this band-aid off right now. The entire relationship from beginning to end has made you both look extremely, extremely stupid. <laughs> like you people are runner, both of you are running up for the dumbest people on the planet right now. <laughs> like it is bad. I feel bad for Liz for being treated like this by Ed, but at the same time, like I don't know how many freaking red flags the dude's gotta throw out yeah. for her to just leave. Yeah. I mean, like, I get the show, right? Because you're doing it for the show. But, like, after that, like, what is this? You know, like, why Why is this a thing right now? Like, Why, why she, is this happening? Why does she even feel like she needs Big Ed? Like, who is Who, who needs, who Big, needs Ed? Big Ed? Who needs Big Ed? I don't understand. <laughs> oh, no. I don't get it. <laughs> so that's the good. There's more conversation. Let's. Uh, great. Let's, <laughs> let's, let's burn the rest of these brain cells off. Uh, I've asked you to let me speak. Go ahead. Are you sure? What do you have to say? What do you have to say? Go ahead. I'm going to I've gotten to the point of the argument where it's like, okay, fine. Yeah, well, tell me whatever. I guess it's your turn. Yeah, I'm not even listening, but tell me. <laughs> he probably hangs up right here. I called you to ask for permission, and you said, okay. You told me I'm such a good person, and I have a kind heart. I don't have anything to hide. I came to you. I don't even think it's worth the conversation being like, well, they obviously have communication issues here. But like, yeah, right. Whatever. Right. Like, I don't even want to, like... But this this shouldn't be a relationship. Yeah, this it is, should not be. This should just, not, this should not exist. We yeah. shouldn't even have to like look at this under the microscope anymore. This this thing's been done. Put a fork in it. It's burnt. This is Kay's cooking level. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> like Kay's done took this relationship out of the oven and stuck it back in oh. three times. It is done. Yeah. And she's gonna make Lee eat it. <laughs> Hit it with some onions. <laughs> Do you think that, stop, answer the question. Do you think that it's okay the way that you are speaking to me right now? Yes, I do. Because of your dumb. Oh, man. No, that was about as painful as I thought it was going to be and why I didn't want to record the video to begin with. <laughs> I mean, this is kind of how I felt Big Ed really was from watching the show. Mm -hmm. And uh, this does not surprise me at all. Whatsoever. I'm pretty actually. sure everything we said was just been reinforced at this point. Yeah, absolutely. Everything we've made fun of and all the little insecurities we 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 think we've dug out. Yeah, it's right. just like all right, yeah. I mean, I feel bad for feeling bad after some of those recordings. Like, man, maybe we should have said that about Big Ed. Yeah. No, dude, 
You deserve every <laughs> single bit of it, and I'm actually mad that I didn't go in on you harder. <sighs> F you, Big Ed. Golly. Imagine a world without TLC. Nobody would have, nobody, nobody would have cared. Big Ed would probably actually be having like a harassment lawsuit for trying to get these young girls to come over to his house so he can be a photographer. Oh yeah, happened. probably. Oh, Absolutely. God. And the thing I'm getting stuck on is like I, like, I feel bad for Liz. I do. But on the flip side is like, get out. Yeah. You no, know? for real though. Like Liz, care about Liz. Please, Just a little bit. more than you do. Yeah, I mean, she, if she, if she recorded this this conversation and it's real, uh, you know, I'm pretty sure that it's got to be over with. I think whenever they do these shows on TLC, like they can't actually like publicly talk about their relationship or anything. Uh, I'm pretty sure they have to like sign something to where it's secret. Yeah, probably. I mean, this is her way of, of reaching out, leaking this conversation. You're uh, you're right though. Before this even happens. Right before you have to record this conversation like this, just be done with it. We we never will be too me. We always want to have fun when we do this. Yeah, exactly. But uh, I think at the level it's been going to, I'm like, past that one through the through the tell all, and then kind of the icing on the cake here with the uh, the phone call was just like, nah. We about we about to put Big Ed in like the category of uh, the predators and just ripping to them like ripping to him like we do them. Exactly. Uh, anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Let us know what you think down in the comments. Maybe you guys can say some of the stuff that I wasn't able to say better. Um, since we just watched this, and my my reaction is still just like, uh, like I, I'm like the, the anime character just sitting there like, uh, 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 uh. oh, dude, I'm like Vegeta. Like my left arm is gone right now. <laughs> Oh, uh, today's your birthday. Happy birthday. Say toast to my friends. And I love you definitely more than Big Ed loves Liz. <sighs>